Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're looking at 3D trigonometry. And this is just using ideas about 2D trigonometry uh, to solve 3D problems. So I've got some tips for you for 3D trigonometry. Firstly, you need to make sure you revise all of trigonometry in 2D. That's everything from Sokotoa, Pythagoras, sine and cosine rule. And then it's uh, you have to practice visualising and spotting triangles in 3D shapes and structures. And then finally, as with every topic, practice lots of exam questions so you really understand what's likely to come up on the exam. Now, if you need a bit of practice uh, with 2D trigonometry, I really think you should watch my video on my playlist on trigonometry, which does cover everything from Pythagoras all the way down to cosine rule uh, on there. So you know exactly which uh, methods to use in solving these problems. Now we've got some 3D shapes here and I can go to try and show you some of the uh, triangles that are hidden inside these shapes. So take the cube first, cuboid, and it's got a triangle here, and that's a right angle triangle. Got another right angle triangle here between these three corners. And then we've got this uh, triangle here, hidden between those three corners again. And this angle here will be a right angle. Now notice that uh, we've got a line here and we've got a face of the shape here. If you've got a, a on a cuboid, a, one of the edges and one of the uh, faces, it will make a right angle between them. So that's a good ruler. And then we've also got this triangle here, which is not a right angle triangle. So you wouldn't use uh, Pythagoras or Sokotoa with that one. You might use sine or cosine rule with that triangle, and that would be quite a tricky question. Here we've got a pyramid, and we've got a right angle triangle hidden there. And that's going from the top of the pyramid to the middle of the base uh, to one of the corners on the outside. Similarly, we've got a cone here. We've got the uh, peak, uh, the point on the top, uh, the point in the middle of the base, and the outside of the base make a right angle triangle. Uh, it's really nice when the right angle triangles because trigonometry is easier with right angles. Let's look at our first uh, exam question. It says A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H is a cuboid. H, G is 27 centimeters, H, D is 16, and A, D is 18. So let's label those straight away like that, so we've labelled the right sides the right lengths. Work out the angle between HB and ABCDE. So HB is this red line here, going through the middle, from H to B, and then ABCD uh, is the face on the bottom of the uh, cuboid, which I've highlighted in red there as well. Now the angle between these two is the smallest angle possible, and that is this angle here, and the reason it's that angle is because this line DB is directly below HB. And uh, so this line here is the line on the base which is directly below HB. And so we choose that line to uh, find the angle between. So we're trying to find this uh, blue angle here. To do that, we're first going to uh, work out another side of this triangle in the middle. And then we're going to use uh, trigonometry to find that angle. We'll start by looking at this green triangle here. Uh, and this is a right angle triangle because it's a uh, part of a rectangle. And we know that one side is 18 and the other side is 27, so you can use Pythagoras theorem to find the missing angle. We're substituting the numbers 18 squared plus 27 squared equals something squared. Square root both sides, and we get that missing side is 32.44996 centimeters. So we label it like that. Now we've got this triangle here, and we can draw it separately over here. And let's draw it flat, so we can see exactly how it is. Always a good idea when you're doing these uh, questions is to copy out the triangle uh, as a flat triangle. That makes it easier to do 2D trigonometry on. So we label the sides opposite and adjacent. And you should know that to work out the angle from opposite and adjacent, you use inverse tan. Substitute the numbers in, like that, and we type them into the calculator, we get 26.2 degrees, and that is the correct answer. 
Uh, example two, uh, period V, A, B, C, D has a horizontal rectangular base. X is at the centre of the base. V is directly above X. So we've got V uh, is the peak of the pyramid, and that's directly above X, the middle of the base. Work out the angle between the planes V, B, C and A, B, C, D. Uh, so uh, this is the plane V, B, C, highlighted in green. And A, B, C, D is the base, and I've highlighted that in orange. So I'm looking for the angle between those, which looks like this. And so we can see that we look after this uh, red uh, angle here. There are going to be a few steps to this, uh, so we're going to do this step by step. First thing to notice is this line from X to the uh, angle is half of the distance from A to B. So it's half of 22 centimetres. And so we can label that as 11 centimetres. Now we know the uh, diagonal lines on the outside of the pyramid are 17. And uh, so we can use those to find this red line in the middle of the pyramid. So we're going to look at this uh, blue triangle here. And we know this blue triangle because the full length BC is 16. This length from here to here is 8 centimetres. We copy that triangle over here. And we copy it straight, flat. We can use that to Pythagoras theorem now to substitute numbers in and find the missing length. Take 8 squared off both sides and we square root. And we should get 15 centimetres. And so this length, this red length here, is 15 centimetres. And now we are ready to work out that missing angle. Because we've got two sides of a right angle triangle, we can find uh, the uh, angle. We've got the adjacent and we've got the hypotenuse, that is cos. So we know cos of the angle is equal to adj over hype. Inverse cos of adj over hype is uh, the angle. And so inverse cos of 11 over 15, substituting those numbers in, on our calculator gives us 42.8 degrees, and that is the final answer. Okay? Uh, so this is 3D trigonometry for you in two exam questions. So as I said before, just go slowly, slowly, make sure you know all your 2D trigonometry really well, and try to spot uh, some uh, triangles in the shapes to help you um, uh, along the way, figure out um, the uh, use trigonometry to figure out the correct angles or the correct lengths. Okay, I've got an exam question for you to try here. Uh, this diagram shows a pyramid with a horizontal rectangular base PQRS. Uh, PQ is 10 centi uh, 16 centimetres, QR is 10 centimetres, and MT, the height of the pyramid, is 15 centimetres. Uh, M is the midpoint of the line PR, so M is halfway between the diagonals of the pyramid. The vertex T is vertically above M, so the vertex T is directly in the middle of the pyramid. Calculate the size of the angle between TP and the base PQRS. So you're after this angle here, between TP and the base. So it's this angle between the dotted line and TP. Okay, pause the video, uh, take your time. Uh, this should take you about five to 10 minutes. And there are, there's more than one step to this question. Uh, so good luck. And I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. Okay, so you should have got that the uh, length from P to M is 9.4339 centimetres. And from that, you should have got and that inverse tan of 15 over 9.4339 was 57.8 degrees. And that is the final answer. Okay. Thank you for watching today's video from Advanced Maths. We have plenty more videos coming every week uh, to help you with your GCSEs. Uh, so remember to like and subscribe for more videos. If you have any ideas for future videos, please let me know in the comments uh, and I'll be sure to make videos to help you. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.